Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku or Sam here and welcome back to another asset review in Unity. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Stylized Nature Pack which is a 3D model pack developed by Mikael Gustafsson which is a, a fellow Swedish bro to me. <laughs> As I was saying, Stylized Nature Pack is simply a 3D model pack under the category of environments. It's primarily used by games that are more cartoonish rather than photorealistic and it's simply just a gorgeous asset because it really focuses on the stylized point of the asset. So just like it suggests in the name but it's really really high quality and I was actually not expecting that much of quality for the price that it goes at which we're gonna talk about soon but basically it's literally in my opinion it's literally one of the best assets out there if not the best for stylized assets I feel like if you're developing a stylized game or like a cartoonish game with smooth colors and you're in need of either like high quality rocks that are gonna look very very smooth or you're making like a nature scene for your game I feel like this is a very very nice asset pack for you. I believe I got two different cartoon speed level design videos up on my channel and I use stylized nature pack for every single one of them. And that's simply because it just covers up a huge area of usage for me. According to the asset page you actually get nine types of stones, one tileable stone texture, eight fully editable trees and bushes, 12 textures of grass, 11 ground textures, two particle presets, falling leaves and ember, and you also get two 2D mountains for the background, which is literally insane because that's exactly what you need for a stylized nature scene that you're creating for your cartoon game. And the asset creator really made sure that you are going to be happy with the content that you're receiving, not only because of the quantity, like wh whatever content you're getting, but the quality is very, very high as well. With that being said, let's get a little bit into the pros and cons of this asset. So first and foremost, as a pro, you get the quantity, which was basically all this content that I was talking about earlier you get a good amount of quality for the asset as well which I also mentioned but basically you get a really good looking rocks pebbles you know all these ground textures grasses and trees and bushes which are also very editable you also get a tutorial included in the asset pack which is simply going to tell you how you can edit the shaders how you can make your scenes look a little bit na more natural when it's actually stylized and for the cons I actually came up with two different points so first and foremost you get no water and a water is actually showed in the showcase scenes that are on the asset store page but it's also written literally that the showcase scene is not included and the water is also not included in the list of content that you're getting however i still wanted to point it out because it's it's looking so good in the showcase scene it's really sad if the i don't know like if the developer actually made the water but if he did i wish he actually shared it even if he shared it as a like essential asset beside the stylized nature pack because I would be down to pick it up because it looks gorgeous. And the other con that I was talking about earlier is basically that you're not getting the showcase scenes which I also mentioned a little earlier in this video and that's just like it already says on the pictures of the showcase scenes that you're not getting they are not included in the asset pack. But I still wanted to bring this up because he's not it's just sad that he's not actually sharing the showcase scenes. I, I'm not really sure if he made them but there, there is no credit given so I just assume he's the one that, that made this showcase scenes too and the reason I'm sad is basically because they just look gorgeous like they would have been perfect example for analyzing how he used the asset and actually taking a part of it however there is a demo scene which is kind of like similar but I really still wish as a level designer I genuinely wanted to actually have the showcase scenes included but oh well I mean it's not really much that much of a con that is going to be like a game changer you still get the content you still get an incredible amount of quantity and quality and that should be fine now let's talk a little bit about developer response which is basically how often the asset is um, updated how frequently the asset developer is actually replying to reviews and to start it off with the asset was basically released the original was released 4th of June in 2015 and it's currently at version 1.2 according to the asset store page which was released 6th of September 2016. The developer from what I can see here the developer responded to three different reviews from the start of the asset and um, he's not been responding that much to the other ones but they, the other ones are basically like reviews where they are like hey this asset is good and you can use it for this part which is nothing you can really reply to as a asset developer so I can understand his situation. However it's really cool that he's actually been responding 
responding to the three first comments or reviews because one of them is actually including the settings he used for Unity's built-in water even though he's not released the asset as a as in its own and it seems like he used the Unity's built-in water that comes with Unity for free and he has imported the package and then he shared it as a bit.ly link um, I'm going to link that in the description down below so that it's actually made more public and um, I'm actually going to try it out like I literally just found it by myself too so I'm actually going to check it out but it's really cool that he actually responded with the water link because somebody was asking like um, can I get the water that was uh, included in the scene showcase scene and he literally just replied with the link so it's really cool I'm actually going to check that out now today preferably the most important part of this video <laughs> <laughs> um, the price of the assets. So the asset is coming at a initial price of $15. I believe that $15 is a very honest price for this asset because you're getting a lot of different content, including textures for grasses, um, you know, these rocks and everything like stones. You're getting ground textures and they look all beautiful. Like they're, they're not just mediocre, they are all really good looking. And now I feel like we can take a look at what actually follows up in the asset pack. So let's go right into Unity. And here we are guys, we are in Unity and we're going to take a look at what you actually get in the asset pack itself. So first and foremost, you get the root directory here called Stylized Nature Pack and you got a folder called Background Elements, which is going to include the cloud 3, 2D cloud texture that is included, including the um, mountains that you can see and you can drag it up and down. And since it's a 2D cloud texture or like a 2D texture in itself, you can edit the color, etc. here in the uh, sprite render component really easily. And you also got a demo scene folder, which is also the demo scene right here, as you can see it, um, that we have open in the background here. And we are in that scene right now. You can see the mountains in the background, the cloud, and they have some green color added to them. And you also have a little bit of fog in the scene itself. And you also see that there are, you know, the, he, he used, Mikael used everything from the asset page pretty much, or the asset, uh, asset pack. So we also have a nature pack, which is basically the grasses. And then we also have trees inside of it. And um, let's see here, we also have a particles folder, which is going to include all these particles that are included in the, in the asset pack. So first and foremost, we have dust, we have falling leaves, ground fog, and we also have sun shafts. Sun shafts actually, actually look incredibly good, as you can see. Um, you can also change the color since it's just a particle system from Unity. Um, they look incredibly good and good job by Mikael for actually making them and including them. I really liked using them inside of my speed level designs. And um, we also got a stones folder here, which is going to obviously include all these pebbles and um, as you can see the pebbles here. And we're also going to have a lot of different stones that are added. Some are somewhat bigger and some are somewhat um, smaller. And you can see those pebbles are really just really, really small and you can actually increase them in size and they will still look pretty good. Um, let's see, we also have a last but not least terrain folder, which is going to be where all these textures are actually located. And you can see that the textures are being used right now in the, uh, in the scene right here, um, in the demo scene. And I have used them myself in these stylized theme speed level designs that I made by using, using this asset, uh, which were, which these really, really looked good. Um, the only thing I was a little sad is that there aren't normal maps for every single one of these, but I'm fine with it. I, I don't really, I, like I use this normal map for pretty much all the other, uh, all these textures and they still look pretty good. But in conclusion, guys, who do I recommend this asset to? So if you're making like a stylized game or like a cartoon game where you pretty much don't want to focus a lot on the photorealistic part of your game, you should really pick this asset up. The price is low, the quality is incredible, and you get a lot of different content for the price you're actually paying, which includes rocks, pebbles, textures, um, grasses, t trees, bushes, like literally particles, background mountains. I mean, there's literally everything you need to actually make a level depending on the cartoon. And with that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for all the support recently on my channel. The community is growing at a very fast rate, which is because of you guys, because of your beautiful faces and you being so generous. I really appreciate everything. And it's just so much fun 
to know that I have such a beautiful community back up, backing up my channel. Not only that, but actually interacting with each other and me. So we we almost became like a really big family, I feel like. And I'm, I know this either sounds like really cliche or cringy, but I'm not trying to make it cringy, trust me. I just appreciate every single one of you for being so generous and being so interactive with the community because that's literally the main reason why I make videos because I love being a part of such a beautiful community. And we have succeeded building some what of a community which is growing every day and that's incredible and um, the more and more people are joining and more and more people are actually interacting with each other people ask questions you guys answer and that's just making my day and if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to like it down below and also hit subscribe if you want to stay up to tune for new cool content like this one coming up on my channel and also leave a comment down below stating what you actually want to see in the next video and i'll catch you guys in the comments see you guys peace out Bye-bye.